good morning and happy day 21 of Vlogmas. We're almost there, everybody. Today we're doing a workout from Boho Beautiful, which is a yoga channel on YouTube. Specifically, we're doing the 30 minute detox yoga, digestion support, weight loss, and full immune system kickstart. Oh boy. Okay, let me say first and foremost, this does seem like more of a rarity on her channel. Like one out of every 10 workouts has some weird claim on it. But again, Vlogmas is educational, so I wanna take this time to educate us on what detoxing actually means in your body. As we do that, let's get ready for the day. So first and foremost, how does your body detox? Your liver. Your liver detoxes your body and your kidneys help support that. A pretty common example is alcohol. If you drink alcohol, your liver is going to help process those toxins, move them through your body and help you them. So as long as you have a functioning liver and kidneys, you're good. And when I think detox, I think, okay, well, how can I support my liver and kidneys? Is it through a strict detox regimen? Is it through a juice cleanse? Is it through some fancy elimination diet? Spoiler alert, no. I actually wanna save that information for when we do a recap of the workout at the end of the video. Let's quickly chat the schedule for the day. It's about 8.30 right now. I have a virtual client at 9.30. I'm gonna film the final series of this kettlebell skills programming that I have for my kettlebell program coming out in January. Then we're gonna do this workout, chat about it. I've gotta edit this video. I have another virtual client at 3.15. I've gotta edit another YouTube video for when Vlogmas is over. And then we've got a lower body workout tonight and then I have to edit that class. So nothing crazy today, just kind of a long marathon day again. Definitely starting to feel it. So I'm gonna finish getting ready for my first client and we will check back in in a bit. All right, let's, uh, let's chat about this one. So we have two things to talk about. Is it science-backed and did I enjoy it? We're gonna start with science-backed. So as a reminder, this is branded as detox yoga. And before we get into the claims that are specifically made in the description, cause we're gonna like really break down the science behind all of that. I wanna talk about what was going on in the workout. We had a lot of flows where we twisted the body and we were constantly reminded that these twists were helping to detox our system, stimulate our digestive tract, and what was the other thing? Oh, and, and boost our metabolism. And I just wanna say right off the bat, that's not exactly how it works. Your liver, your kidneys, your lymphatic system, like they're all doing this regardless. Twisting isn't bad. It can help increase blood flow. It can help increase your flexibility, but there are, there are just simply no studies that show that twisting asanas 
in a yoga practice directly improve all of those things. We have to remember that correlation does not equal causation, meaning that twisting asanas might help support all of these things, but it isn't the reason why these things improve. So let's break it down claim by claim and actually talk about how you can support your body's natural detoxification system. So the first claim in the description is that this will enhance your body's natural detoxification process. How have the studies shown that we can actually do that? Improve sleep, adequate water intake, eating a well-balanced diet filled with color, limiting your alcohol, focusing on breath work, increasing your movement, and reducing your stress. So it seems like the best way to support your body's natural detoxification process is by doing all of the things that you would do to just like live a happy, healthy life. Now, if we are looking at the claim that's made and then the actual workout, we do hit some of those things. We did a lot of breath work and we did some movement. And oftentimes for people, yoga can reduce your stress. So technically accurate, but it's a little sneaky. The next claim is boost your metabolism for weight loss. We have talked at end about energy expenditure and metabolism, and we really went into it on day five, so you can go back and check out that video. But as a quick reminder, some of the ways that you can not only increase your resting metabolic rate, but also just like support your metabolism as a whole would be increasing your muscle mass, improving your sleep, reducing your stress, and including foods that are high in fiber, high in protein, because this is gonna increase your TEF or thermic effective food, because those foods do take more more energy to break down. So I guess technically, again, we can say this workout will help reduce your stress. Also, if you are a beginner to movement, we did do a lot of isometric holds and poses that were more challenging. So you could increase your muscle mass to a point. But if we're talking about weight loss in general, because that is part of the claim, you do always need to remember that it does come down to calories in, calories out. It does come down to simply being in a negative energy balance. And the easiest, most accurate way to go about this is by looking at your nutrition. Let's look at the final claim. This workout will kickstart your entire immune system. How do the studies show that we can support our immune system? Again, eating a colorful diet, increasing our water intake, exercising, getting more sleep, reducing our stress. Once again, we can say that this can fall under reducing our stress and exercise. But do you see what's happening here? It's all the same shit. It's all connected. Like I, sometimes I feel like I'm screaming into the void because look, is she technically wrong or lying to you? No, but it's so fucking stretched from the truth that it's manipulative, it's sneaky. It tricks people into thinking that twisting your body and doing this specific movement routine instead of something else is going to detox your body, boost your metabolism for weight loss, and cure your immune system from whatever freaking virus has been going around New York City. It's infuriating because it just adds more confusion into the pot of how to actually take care of ourselves. So for science backed, I'm gonna give it a three out of five because like, again, technically is she wrong? No, but I just feel like you're trying to trick your audience. It's manipulative and it makes me feel like you think that I'm stupid or I just think that you're stupid. Let's talk about enjoyment. <laughs> now that I'm fired up. All right, taking a breath. Um, I will say right off the bat, I am not a yogi. I have done a lot of yoga in the past. And I will say that most of the yoga, we can actually put these all together. Most of the yoga, Pilates, and bar that I have done in my life has been at a time where I really fell into the marketing traps around it. Or especially with yoga, I only went to like power flows or I only went to hot yoga. Like I only chose these things because I thought that they were gonna make me as thin as possible. And that was literally the only goal. I'm not saying that that is what Boho Beautiful is doing. I'm not saying that that is what yoga Pilates and Bard do across the board. I'm just explaining my background and my personal connection to it because this score is simply about my enjoyment. So when I do choose a yoga workout or a Pilates workout or a bar workout, I'm gonna gravitate some towards something that feels more restorative because I almost feel like I have to overcorrect for all of that crap that I was forcing on myself in previous years. So anyway, I think that that is important background before we talk about this. In general, I really did think this was a well-programmed flow. I'm not a yogi at all, not a yoga instructor. She seemed like she knew what she was doing. <laughs> it was challenging. Like there were some poses that I couldn't get into and just like went into some child's pose and that's perfectly okay. I would definitely, I felt like this was advanced. I don't know, yogis, like tell me what you think. There was a voiceover for the cueing, which didn't bother me as much as like the move with Nicole Day. I feel like because this was supposed to be like, 
more zen, more calming. But I still would have preferred to have her queuing us live. A little thing that I've actually, I keep forgetting to say it when it happens, but it has happened on other days. I kept getting confused because she was not nearing us, but she was queuing her side. I can explain that better. So let's say I'm doing a workout, right? And I say, all right, take your right arm and press it overhead. Well, this is gonna look like left to you. So actually when I'm in this room and I'm teaching workouts, I'm flipping everything. So if I said right arm, I'd be lifting my left arm. If I say travel to the right in a dance cardio class, I'm going to my left. My brain doesn't know right and left in this room anymore. It's completely reversed, but I do that for the sake of clarity for my clients because coaching on a digital screen can be really confusing. So I did find that a little confusing here and there because I would start mirroring her, but then she was saying different directions. So that's just something to think about if you are a coach online. But again, I thought it was a great flow. I thought it was a great practice. And if you're a yogi who likes some challenging poses, I would definitely recommend it. But just know that it's not going to detox your entire system or make you lose weight. So in terms of enjoyment, I think I'm gonna give it like a four out of five. I don't know. I liked the fact that I could just take a lot of child's poses if I wanted. It felt appropriate for the moment. I think at the end of the day, I'm just not a yogi. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with that, four out of five. I don't know, these numbers don't matter. Let's pick tomorrow's workout. Oh my God, we're about to have a repeat of yesterday. There she is. All right, tomorrow's workout is... Tracy Steen. I feel like I know this name. Let's do some quick research. All right, lots of stuff on here. I gotta figure out what we're feeling for tomorrow. So Tracy Steen, we are coming at you tomorrow. No Zoe today for the outro. I will see you all in the next one.